Hello everyone, I am finally doing the how to rework Symmetra into a tank video. I apologize that it took so long, but I really wanted to think everything through before making this. Just as an FYI, I do think Symmetra 3.0 can be balanced, and I've already made a video on this. It's a little old, but most of the points still stand. It will be linked in the end card and the pinned comment. This video might be long, so there will be timestamps in the description and pinned comment if you want to skip. I'm Yellow Ninja, and at the time of this recording I have over 270 hours on Symmetra. I started playing Symmetra shortly after I first bought the game, which was a little before the first Summer Games event. I started to play Symmetra because I had come from TF2 and I mained Engineer with the Gunslinger. My first computer also wasn't the best, so Symmetra's Noodle Beam helped me to have an impact. While underpowered, I think Symmetra 2.0 was my favorite version of the character. Overwatch is lacking tanks and supports at the moment. I understand how Symmetra failed as a support, but frankly, she is failing as a damage dealer too. Symmetra's pick rate as of January 18th, 2019 is a whopping 0.84%. As a contrast, the character with the highest pick rate is Reinhardt, sitting at a 12% pick rate. The goal of this proposed rework is to make Symmetra viable and multidimensional. Symmetra 3.0 has low health and no defensive options. Her damage on both her primary and secondary fire need to ramp up, and her only mobility is slow and clunky. Let me paint you guys a picture of what makes a successful Overwatch hero. Why do you pick Reinhardt? Big moving shield, solid close range damage, and one of the best ultimates in the game. Why do you pick Ana? Great healing, can sleep key targets, landing huge bio nades for allies and enemies, and nano boost can be used both offensively to engage and defensively to save a teammate. Why do you pick Ash? Great long range damage, can reach high ground easily, dynamite forces enemies to reposition, and Bob is a great way to get pressure off of your team. Now why do you pick Symmetra? She doesn't counter anyone. In fact, she gets countered by a lot of heroes. You pick her for the teleporter. That's it. A teleporter with a 2 second deploy time and an interact radius the size of a penny. A gimmick. You pick Symmetra for a gimmicky strategy to teleport to the point or high ground and hope you can win the game before your enemy figures out how to shut it down. Now I'm not going to say that the teleporter isn't amazing when it works, because frankly it's such a rush to get a good teleporter going. But there is a reason why the gimmicky characters in Overwatch all sit below a 1% pick rate. They only do one thing well, and that one thing is easy to counter. I will go into details about every ability and decision after I list off their stats. Symmetra's new health will be 175 HP and 175 shields, 350 health in total. The Photon Projector's ammo will be returned to 100. Primary Fire, 2.0 Auto Lock Beam, 10 meter range, 1 second charge time per level. Damage starts at 25 DPS at level 1, 50 DPS at level 2, and 100 DPS at level 3. Dealing damage on barriers will refund ammo. Secondary Fire. Same as their 3.0 increment. The 20 meters a second orbs with a 1 second charge time that do 120 damage on a direct hit. First ability. Sentry Turrets. Also the same as their 3.0 version. 3 turrets that each do 50 DPS and slow the enemy. 10 second cooldown. Second ability. Photon Barrier. This is a modified version of Symmetra 2.0's moving barrier. 2 charges. 9 second cooldown. The size of Photon Barrier would be increased by 20% of its original size. The barrier would also be slightly curved inwards to allow for a little cover on the sides. Pressing the ability will fire the 1000 HP shield that moves at the same speed as most heroes, at 5.5 meters a second. A new feature for the ability is that if Symmetra holds the button for 1 second, the barrier will move 20% slower at 4.4 meters a second. Ultimate, Photon Field. This is the same as Symmetra 3.0's ultimate, the name is changed to remove confusion. A 5000 HP barrier that spans the map for 15 seconds and requires 1500 points to fully charge. Passive. Recycling. For every second of dealing damage with Photon Projector, reduce the cooldown of Photon Barrier by 0.5 seconds. Since Symmetra will be a tank, she needs more HP. I decided that 350 HP was good because of her slim hitbox. Photon Barrier was the biggest reason I decided Sim would work well as a tank. 
I feel that Photon Barrier never got used to its full potential due to Symmetra 2.0 being lackluster. Photon Barrier is now bigger and will cover more ground. The 9 second cooldown is 1 second longer than Orisa's shield and should allow the enemy enough time to counterplay. The shield will be a bit smaller than Reinhardt's shield, but not by much. Holding the barrier to make it move slower will help Symmetra provide cover for a little longer. However, the slower moving barrier will only happen after one complete second of holding the button. Letting go early will release the barrier at standard speed. This one second window allows for counterplay as you can focus fire on Symmetra to potentially disrupt her barrier placement. The idea of having multiple abilities to charge up preemptively is one of Symmetra's defining aspects. It's also one of her weaknesses and will allow her to still maintain counters. The ability to have two barriers also allows Symmetra the slight ability to reposition her barriers if needed. Weaker than Reinhardt where he could just face a different direction, but also stronger than Orisa's static barrier. Okay, now the controversial one, the Noodle Beam Primary Fire. Increased range over 2.0, but also less damage. Because Symmetra will have more health, range, and protection, I think it's fair that the damage is lower. The 10 meter range matches that of her turrets. Symmetra will be able to latch onto those pesky slim hitboxes and slowly chew away at them. Speaking of the primary fire, let me talk about the new passive ability, which I codenamed Recycling. I was honestly a little torn about adding this to the rework idea, but I think it's a solid passive without being overbearing. Symmetra already has to get very close to deal damage with her primary fire, so why not reward her with a faster barrier cooldown? In terms of numbers, you would have to attack for 2 seconds to get 1 second off of your barrier cooldown. With Voltan Barrier's cooldown being 9 seconds, you would need to be attacking for 6 whole seconds to get another barrier. Next up is the secondary fire, the 3.0 orbs. These are my favorite part of the 3.0 rework. They are fast, but not too fast, and you would still need to charge them up beforehand. When playing Tank Symmetra, you would have to decide if it's worth it to charge your primary fire or to stick to your secondary fire. Onto Symmetra's turrets. I think these things are great. The only reason we complain about the cooldown on 3.0 Symmetra is because we rely on them too much for close range damage, because currently, Symmetra's primary fire is hard and unrewarding to use. The turrets are multi-purposeful. You would be able to throw them in with your barrier for cover, or use them defensively to protect the back line. Lastly, onto the ultimate, Photon Field. People complain that it feels like a tank ultimate, so why not give it to a tank? It's still solid at making big engagements or dispersing enemy engagements. Symmetra will be the fine line between a main and an off tank. She doesn't have the health of a main tank, but has the shielding of one, and her damage will rival that of the off tanks. Symmetra will be a character who controls space, a 10 meter space to be specific. Symmetra will be the perfect person to stick in the middle of a teamfight. Enemies will have to respect her 10 meter range or risk taking a lot of damage. With the Noodle Beam returning, Symmetra will be a deterrent to mobile characters, and characters with small hitboxes. Symmetra's Photon Barrier will allow her to engage with her team while moving and shooting. Photon Field will be the same as it is now, a great ultimate for forcing the enemy to constantly move around it. Symmetra's primary fire and turrets will be strong against Genji, D.Va, Hammond, Zarya, Ana, Lucio, Moira, and Mercy. Her secondary fire will retain the same strengths as it does now, where it's pretty solid against bigger characters like Bastion, Zenyatta, Reinhardt, and Orisa. Symmetra's Photon Barriers will be strong against Brigida, McCree, Roadhog, and the Hitscan heroes. Symmetra as a whole would be strong against Deathfall comps, as she will be able to single out targets instead of blasting bullets all over the place and hoping they hit the right person. Symmetra's weaknesses will still be similar to her current weaknesses. Although she will now have easy access to cover, Symmetra still lacks reliable range damage, as her orbs are easy to avoid. As a whole, Symmetra would still be weak to Dive Comp, a comp featuring Winston, D.Va, Genji, Mercy, Zenyatta, and Tracer. These characters together can jump right through Symmetra's barriers and destroy her turrets easily. Of course Symmetra will have more health, but Focus Fire will kill any tank. Characters that counter Symmetra will be the ones who can ignore or destroy her barriers easily. Onto some character specific weaknesses. These will be in order of hardest to softest counter. Farah, Farah, Farah. How I hate Farah and how I would still hate Farah. Farah would still be able to easily outmaneuver your barriers and avoid your orbs, constantly pressuring you from above. Sombra's EMP will shut down everything Symmetra does, barriers and turrets. 
On top of that, Symmetra's HP will be cut in half, and she will be an easy picking. Bastion will be able to shred the barriers, forcing Symmetra out of position. Tracer would probably lose the battle if she is fighting too close, but if a Tracer is using her blinks well, she will probably win the fight. Doomfist will be able to rocket punch right through Symmetra's barriers, leaving her at 100 HP if it connects. Low enough health that he could finish her with a combo. Soldier 76 will be able to apply constant pressure to Symmetra's barriers, and his weapon is far superior at range, where Sim won't be able to hit him. If Reinhardt can get close enough, it will take him 5 hammer hits to kill Symmetra. If uncharged, it would take Symmetra about 7 seconds to kill Reinhardt, which is too long and she will probably die to him. Winston will still counter Symmetra's turrets, but will probably be less effective against Symmetra herself due to her health increase. Senyata's Discord Orb is great against all the tanks, and it will help to drain Symmetra's already low health pool. Symmetra will play like the in-between of Rhine and Orisa. All the supports would work fine with her, but here are some special mentions. Even though speed boosts will cause you to move faster than your barrier, Lucille can allow Symmetra to make erratic movements in close range to use her primary fire without being hit. Mercy and Zenyatta damage boost will make the beam do 130 DPS at max charge, which is slightly stronger than her 2.0 form. Symmetra will also be a viable nano boost target for Mana. With Symmetra being a fusion of off and main tank, she would work well with a good chunk of the tanks. Reinhardt and Orisa would be solid choices, as you would have even more shielding to work with. For the off tanks, I think D.Va would be the best pick. The shields allow her to take cover, which she will need after the 2 second defense matrix nerf. Zarya will also be a solid second tank, as she can bubble Symmetra as she engages her extra charge. Other tanks will be able to work well, but I think they have better pair-ups. In terms of the damage class, characters who lack solid mobility or defensive abilities will be able to benefit from the pushing power of Symmetra's barriers. These include McCree, Soldier, Torbjorn, Junkrat, and Reaper. Special mention to Mei because she has always opened up opportunities for Symmetra to use her primary fire. I've been brainstorming this concept for quite a while now. I tried to think of the reasons why I fell in love with Symmetra in the first place. I loved the constant decision making of the character. Should I use barrier now? Where should these turrets go for max value? Should I charge my primary fire on this guy? I also check the Overwatch forums almost every day, and I've been reading many posts about how Symmetra is a lackluster hero now. I've also read posts that talk about Symmetra 2.0, specifically her noodle beam, was great for those with disabilities, mental and physical. With it removed, those people had to stop playing Symmetra altogether, and that's not fair. I think Overwatch should be accessible to everyone. My biggest reason for this rework is I want to make Symmetra a hero you would actually want to use. Just as teammates say, we need a Rhine, I would want to hear, we need a Sim. All in all, I just want my hero to be fun and viable. Things that she isn't now. Of course as always, let me know your thoughts in the comments and we can get a discussion going. I'm Yellow Ninja, and I want to see Symmetra with an above 1% pick rate. For once. Peace.